<sighs> Welcome back to another chill workout vlog. Sit back and relax and work out with me. So that was my last warm up set for squatting. <sighs> and oh boy, am I tired? Doing all this running and Muay Thai and then heavy lifting kind of got me a little tired. Not gonna lie. Every day. So it's something that you definitely have to build up to slowly. That's, that's why I'm only doing three sets of three for squat and three sets of three for bench. Um, because, well, one, I can do that maximal strength work without getting too fatigued because with the running and Muay Thai, I'm already getting fatigued, the muscular endurance aspect, but those two don't really affect my maximal strength. So that leaves me able to do powerlifting style work because my maximal strength is not being used very often. So that's why we, we do it like this because we got a little window of opportunity to do so. And two, because I don't want my strength to go away. Because I... I'm trying to get to that thousand pound club. Which is going to be really hard. If I'm also lifting heavy weights. Uh, no. Thousand pound club is also going to be difficult if I'm running a lot. And doing a lot of cardio. So. I know these goals kind of contradict each other. But still my goals. And even if I even if I'm just focusing on running in Muay Thai, if I can at least do this weight to maintain my strength, then when I want to focus more effort on the thousand pound club goal, then I can do so. Cause I wouldn't have lost all my gains. So and um, I'm like 850 pounds is my total for my squat bench and deadlift. So I'm like kind of close, but not really. 150 pounds away from, from the 1,000 pound total. Um, we got to hit this now. Put on the belt. They only know me with the belt. But who am I without the belt? And yes, my shirt is wrinkly. So. I don't want to hear it. Wrinkly shirt. John. This is it going to be 235 pounds for three? Yeah, I used to add five to 10 pounds every week on my big lifts, um, but now I'm just maintaining because, well, one, it's a, it's a nutrition issue. I feel like I've been slacking a little bit on that nutrition, so, but I'm, I'm getting back in it. I'm making sure I, I eat, uh, got a good schedule. <clears throat> it's just got to make sure I stick with it. And then, of course, sleep, which is, you know, heavily underrated. All right, let's see how we do 235 for three.
Holy hell. That was hard. That was not good. Oh, yeah. I did not feel good. That was heavy. I don't know. I don't know. It definitely is a fact that I am using so much more energy on cardio as opposed to powerlifting. I mean, I'm training for a half marathon and I'm spending at least nine hours a week at Muay Thai, so. A lot of cardio. I'm gonna take off the fives. Do 225. All right, set number two. We'll drop it down to 225. I had to eat a pack of gummies before this because I, I already knew my blood sugar was going to go low. Um, it hasn't gone low yet, uh, but it always does with exercise. Got me fine for my life over here. <sighs> last set right here. Honestly, last set was not that bad. I even was able to save myself from destruction by keeping it on my back after hitting the the rack. So this last set should be okay. But it's hard. Like I said before, powerlifting effort is like different than other effort, you know? It's way more like life or death feeling, especially squatting because the weight's on top of you. If, you. if you fall, that weight's coming right down on top of you. Okay, we are done with squatting. Sometimes squatting feels like my favorite of the big three. Most of the time it's my least favorite. Just cause that feeling, that fear of death. When the weight's right on your back, I feel like getting crushed. I mean, when you're benching, yeah, it's right on top of you, but you have the spotter arms, um, and of course you have the spotter arms when you squat, but you still, it feels like all the weight is on top of you. 
squatting is a lot more weight than benching so even when i'm i'm benching heavy i still don't feel like as in danger one because of the squatter the spotter arms and two because it's not as much weight uh and then deadlifting of course feels the safest just because at any point i could just drop it and be fine um i think it's a good thing that i'm doing deadlifts with uh distance running in muay thai because without it i wouldn't get that that fear of death you know in the same way you do with powerlifting when you're exerting maximum effort in those other sports it's a lot more mental um muay thai is also physical but it's like a, a hybrid like i explained before but powerlifting is like extremely physical and that mind body connection when you're exerting yourself at a hundred percent in just one movement is is unlike the other sports so without powerlifting i would not be getting that same benefit let's bench all right we're benching 155 again um i did 155 last time three sets of three successfully but i just want to do it again uh this week because um other factors you know like effort in muay thai and running probably made me more tired today so i don't see myself going to 160 i could but uh if I can do 155 this week, then next time I lift on Friday, I'll go for 160. Gotta take the progression very slow with this powerlifting because of everything else I'm doing. Yeah, 155 felt pretty good, actually. Challenging, but not too challenging. <sighs> After this, I gotta run five uh, quarter mile repeats. I'm not even I'm not even like signed up for a fight or signed up for the half marathon yet, but I don't know. I just I think I just decided that the benefit of going so hard and the drawbacks of going so hard are better than the drawbacks of sitting around and not doing anything all day everything has negatives right nothing is purely good or purely bad everything comes with a cost opportunity cost you know if you do something that means you can't do something else and the opportunity cost and the actual cost of everything i'm doing lifting running muay thai i prefer that to the opportunity cost and actual cost of sitting around and doing nothing and wishing I was doing something else, even if that is easier and more relaxing. It's not like I'm not enjoying this too. There's, there's benefits in either direction. It's just, you got to decide what benefits do you like and what, what costs are you willing to live with?
yeah, 155 moving too easy. I'll just finish off this last set. Move up to 160 next next session. My left shoulder has been uh, giving me a little trouble lately. Just feels like a little tweak. Uh, feels alright now. I can feel a little bit, but I have a feeling it's either from sleeping weird or uh, Muay Thai throwing hooks, potentially. Speaking of Muay Thai, I'm uh, trying to work on slipping my head movement, you know. I mentioned in like two vlogs ago, my biggest defensive opening is crosses getting hit on the left side of my face. So I've been practicing, you know, slipping. Stuff like that. Uh, slipping. I just got to keep my guard up. Sometimes I don't even see it coming. Sometimes I do see it coming, but I just don't have... The reactions goes into my muscle memory. Um, that's why consistency is important. You do something long enough, something becomes muscle memory. You don't have to think about it, you know. And that's how I am with a lot of my other techniques. It's just defending crosses, not so much. I'm about to just do three perfect pull-ups. Just gotta focus on form. I'm not gonna round my shoulders at all because that is a weak foundation for pull up form. I'm gonna do three perfect pull ups and then call it. <sighs> yeah, <sighs> that's so much harder. I think the more you round your shoulders too, the more bicep you use, and less back. I could be wrong, but... <sighs> yeah, so much harder. can barely even get my, uh, my chin over the bar. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, make it a little assisted. Assisted pull-ups. Just gonna use the bench a little bit, but I'm gonna maintain perfect form. That's the important part. <sighs> you can see that I put the bench down there so I could set my foot on the bench and boost myself up a little bit with, with the pull-up. Um, and that helps if you need help doing um, your pull-ups. So I'm going to go run now and then end my day. All right, vlog update. Uh, I decided my plan all along was to actually go to bed around 10 and wake up at like 5 in the morning just because I really wanted to do that. I work best in the morning, so I wanted to get up early, get some work in, 
Um, because I want to try waking up at 5 um, during the weekdays. See how that goes, you know. And I didn't do that today. Because I went to bed way too late yesterday. Went to bed way too late to do that. Um, so tonight is the night where we're going to do that. Wake up at 5. And since I'm doing that, I might as well, you know, spread out my workouts a little bit more. Uh, and wake up and run. And then do some work or do some work and then run. But the fact that I'm waking up that early tomorrow means I can... I can do that workout in the morning and then go to Muay Thai in the afternoon, evening. So that's the plan. I will see you tomorrow morning then. Thanks for hanging out during my workout today. Uh, it was a decent workout. Squats were not as good as I thought, but bench was a little, little uh, better. Um, anyways, I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you later.